Today I wanted to throw together a, a video, a demo on some software that I use in the shop and I, I like uh, very well. It's called uh, VCarve 2D Pro and it's from a company named Vetric. And I'll leave a link below for the um, where you can click on it because they do have a free uh, trial that you can you can demo this or use this software. They got a bunch of tutorials and it explains it'll show you what the, the different costs and the different levels. Um, the nice thing is if you do start out with a, a lower level uh, like the 2D software and you really want to get into it you can actually uh, trade up so you just got to pay I think the difference in that. Um, you can see how the, those price points are, are structured in the, on the website. But uh, I think you really like uh, the software when you see what it can do. You can make some templates. So uh, if you're going to be selling these signs on Etsy or eBay, or say you're going to set up a craft stand, um, it would really probably be in your best interest to, to get some professional software. This has some post processors, a lot for the, the different machines that are out there. So let's have a peek at uh, Vetric VCarve 2D Pro. All right, so let's uh, start with our demo here. First thing we're going to do is uh, open up our uh, Vetric, the uh, Cut 2D Pro here. And then we're uh, going to create a new file. And my boards, this would be representative of the size of the board that I'm going to be using. And I've been using the 16 inches by 10 inches. Um, and that's that's fine. You can, whatever size board you want to use, that's what you put there. And then the thickness, my boards are 3 quarters of an inch. And then my datum right here will be in the XY0. I'm going to put mine right in the center. And I'll be programming in inches today. And here's uh, uh, the toolbars, and, and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to import uh, our Happy Camper sign. This is just some uh, clip art that I had. And again, this is not a full tutorial. This is just uh, a demo showing you what how easily you can put together something on VCarve. And if you guys want a full uh, tutorial on this, uh, please just let me know in the comments section and I'll be happy to throw something together. Then we'll throw in our campfire. And then finally our pine trees. There we go. And we're going to size them. And all we got to do is just pull down on these corners here. To uh, I'll resize it or move it. And we'll make this just a touch bigger. And then to make sure that that's in the center, I can actually go uh, right here to transform the object and align the material. And there you have it, there's the center. So it looks close enough for what we're going to be doing here. <clears throat> we'll close that out. Now I want to uh, straighten this out a bit. So I'm going to come here to, I'll select it, and I'm going to go to Trace Bitmap. And I will bring this bitmap fading down, and you just, you'll play with these. Uh, but what we're looking for is these outline lines here. I'll bring my pixels up, that down, and then I'm going to click Preview to see what I got. And you can kind of see my lines here. And I will bring that down a little more. Those pixels up a little more. That looks pretty good. And we'll apply that and close it. Now I'm going to click that. And then I'm just going to come up here, edit and delete, and all that'll be left then is the outline that I want. We're going to go over and do the same thing to these other objects here. Bring that up, bring my fading down. Click on preview, 
That looks pretty good right there. Same thing, we'll come in there and delete that so all we have is those lines. One more time on the trace bitmap. There, preview. Not too bad. And you'll get used to it. If you get this, uh, just playing with it. Click on that. And delete there. And there we have our outline. <clears throat> so now what I want to do is I'm going to write some text. And I don't want it just straight across here. Let's get a little fancy with it. We're going to put a curve in here. So I'm going to write my text on an arc. We'll make one arc there and then another one down here for the lower text. There we have it. Close out of that. Then we go into our uh, text box here. And you see all these other for creating vectors. Um, kind of like Escape, you, you could draw rectangles and stars and, and, um, and the like and, and lines. So then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to write our text and uh, we'll put that in there. Hit apply. Highlight that and then uh, I'm just going to bring that up there. And now what I want to do, I'm going to close that. I want that on this arc. So I'm going to select that arc. Hold shift and I'm going to select that and then right here it says wrap text along curve. And I'm going to want this above that arc. It'll be right on it. So I hit apply and then it sizes it to fit that arc. We'll close that and let's do the same down here. Let's uh, write some more text. And you can see this is the font that I picked, but I could have selected from so many different other uh, fonts. You have a lot of them. Uh, again, you just experiment and see something that you like. Hit apply and close. Now I'm going to keep that selected. Hold shift, select that bottom. Same thing. We're going to wrap that text around there. We'll hit apply. Now I'll select that again. And now what I can do is I can pull that down. And if I think it's a little crooked, I could actually pull up a corner and tip it to kind of straighten it out. So we'll see that's close enough for our demo here. We'll select the arc because we won't want that in there. Hold shift, select that one, right click. And then we're just going to delete that. So that is our sign just that quick. Now we're going to Come in here, we're going to select all of our vectors um, and hit our tool pass, show the tool path tab. And then uh, what we're going to do, we could profile it, we could pocket it, um, you could do a quick engraving of it. But what we're going to do, and most of the time that I do for my science, I profile the tool path. So I'm going to click that and then uh, it's got want to know where I'm going to start. We're going to start on the top. And we're going to come to a depth of 50,000, so that's, that's good enough. You could go a little deeper if you like. And then uh, we're going to select what size bit. Here's your uh, tool database, and it is extensive. Um, you can see that all different types of in mills, V bits, 60, 90, and you can specialize them too. So I'm going to go with a 6 millimeter, 60 degree bit. And here's your cutting parameters, um, step over, speed, speeds, depths of cut, uh, tool number if you have an automatic tool changer. This is a very uh, good tool library to, to choose from. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to hit apply and OK. I'm going to um, do the uh, climb cutting. I'm happy with that. And then say we wanted to do um, Mobile, uh, tool tab. See, I want to cut it around and do some kind of shape here, but I didn't want to hold it down with a clamp. I can actually cut around it and put tabs in there. 
and uh, then you can just break off those tabs later. So let's calculate that. And then uh, you can see what kind of board I'm going to use, pine, but I have a lot of different type of boards I could pick from. So you can, um, we've calculated that, and now we're going to preview selected toolpath. I'm going to run this, it would be just like your machine cut that. So this gives you a very good idea on this graphic what you're going to end up with. And there you have it. There is that sign, it's programmed just that quickly. And you can set up templates in here, so you can uh, customize them. You can just go in there and maybe add the word and have a bunch of different ones to, to choose from. There's a lot of clip art. Vetric on their website has, um, they have a lot of tutorials. They have uh, clip art that's included. And um, they do have a free demo that you can experiment with and see how well you like the software. But uh, the question of is, is it worth it? I really do believe it's worth it, especially if you're going to be doing this uh, to try and earn some money and you want some speed and accuracy. This is everything that you want all in one package. So um, we're going to close that out then. And now I'm going to... Um, Come here and I'm going to save this toolpath. And I'm going to save it into this post processor. I'm going to cut it in uh, Mach 3. But if you look here at this post processor, look at how extensive this list is. If you have a cutting machine, I would almost bet you that your cutting machine is, is on here. So, like I say, um, it's, it's extensive. Um, so, we'll save this toolpath. Save it as profile one. And that is our demo. That's that's all it would be. Now I'll cut that and then uh, we'll show you what we have. Well, that's, that's our demo. And uh, this is what the sign uh, ended up looking like once it was cut on the CNC router. Didn't take very long to cut it at all. Um, so if you have any questions uh, or, or comments, just leave them in the, the section below. And uh, like I say, I have those links in there for for Vetric. and again they have a lot of different tutorials in there they have some projects that are included in it it's pretty cool software so thanks again so much for watching and uh, until next time